Good morning, peeps. I'm they're going to have another go at a new water. Right. It's a caravan park. Is at Stonham Barns near Petter and Stow Market's just up the road. So it's not silly far, about 20 miles to come for me. Um, I've got two top kits set up. I'll show you where I'm fishing. Right. I've got one there in front of that cordyline australis. So I know what that is because I used to have them. There's a little swim just there, right up against the bank, about a foot from the edge at uh, 11 metres. I've got one down here about 8 metres in the shadow of that bush. That one there, look. <laughs> Right, now I've been told there's tench up to seven pounds in here. Carp, oid, roach, rad, crusions as well I think. Um, well I don't know what I'm going to catch but I'm going to give it a go. I've fed the swims up. Right, I'm on peg two. There isn't a marker on this one but I know that I see the marker on that one is peg one, two and I see next door is three. Right. Let's get in and see what's about. Oh, 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 new water. It's exciting when it's a new water because you don't know what you're going to catch. Catch you in a minute. Well, first put in on the shorter line, I'm in, and I'm in straight away. Oh, 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 oh. You got a clue what it is? Yep, I reckon that's a carp. Holding bottom. Oh. There's a little twitch and then boom, go on. <laughs> it's got to be a carp, isn't it? It's quite deep here. Deeper than I thought. I'll show you my kit in a minute. run around so I get the first fish here. Because last week I was fishing I lost one and it smashed the pole float to bits. <laughs> Didn't damage the top, thank God. There's a fighter anyway, whatever it is. Come on, my little booty. Gonna have to grab the brolly, it's raining. Typical for my Tuesdays fishing. I see it flash, but I didn't see what it was. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't see what it is. What a first fish. Oh, that's a big tinge. Wow, right good at the foot of my stairs. Oh, oh, oh. Right, that's a beautiful big tinge. <laughs> Gorger. Yeah, he's took it down a little bit. Not too far, but he's took it down a bit. We will in a minute. Gotta get the brawly out quick. Got it at last. <laughs> what a faff. Well, I know it was a good fish, but very light coloured. Now he's gonna play me up. What about that for a start then? <laughs> Perfect start. Get him back. Well, <laughs> that's made my day already. <laughs> Perfect. We're in again next putting. Well, I definitely found my feed. 
and you can see what it's doing now <laughs> absolutely belting it down Ooh, that's a very low fighting little carp little common carp Right, mate. Let's have a look at you, right in the top lip, lovely. Now, isn't this an F1? That's a little F1. All right, mate. To show you to the camera. <laughs> Tension and F1, not a bad start, eh? Cool. Brilliant. I wish I weren't pouring down a rain, that'd be much easier. Here we go, can't help that. Oh, we're in again. This is the fourth put out. I missed that last one. I played for a few seconds and it came off. Let's see what we got here. Enjoying this already. That's only my third fish. Beautiful tench first go, eh? <laughs> I might be able to get the brolly down in a minute. It's getting brighter, so I stopped at the minute. Don't know what the forecast is, I think it's showers. That's obviously in the way of the landing net. As soon as I get that brolly down, I'll be able to show you better what I'm using, the tactics I'm going about. Got here this time. <laughs> oh. Looks like another big tench. Is it bigger than the first one? It looks like it. Perfect. Come on, my old fella, look at that beautiful tench, will ya? Cool. <laughs> Took my time setting up. All right, fella, all right, fella. Beautiful tinge, eh? Crikey. We just hooked in a bottom lip. Look at that for a tinge, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Perfect for a tinge. Chuffed to bits with that. Oh, probably good three pound. I won't weigh it. That's not big enough to be weighed. Unless I get one bigger than my five pounder I had at Broom Pits once. <laughs> I won't weigh it now. Lovely. Well, we're in again. Feels like a small one. Yes, it is. I had the brolly down for a little while, but I was chatting to some people here. Chap who come and get your day ticket money. Very nice chap. Telling me what's in here. He reckon the bream in here go are over eight pound. <laughs> right. I think. Yes, that's a little tiny F1. He said the F1's a, a smaller. Look at that. <laughs> Just like last week. I don't think that's an F1, I don't know, he ain't got any barbels, so I just presume that's a baby F1. Lovely little thing. 
William back. I think I'll get the Brawley down in a minute and I can do some different shots for you so you can see better. Here we are again. Well, what can I say? You catch some fish like this, what can you say? Oh, perfect. <laughs> What have we got this time? I oh, haven't had a chance to show you my kit yet, I will in a second. <laughs> oh, another lovely tench. Even bigger. <laughs> Crikey. Even bigger tench. Right, I've got a bit of a tangle, I'll get back to you. Yeah, what happened, the hook had come through his lip and then going back in the net. <laughs> but I mean to say, what can you say, look at that. That's three and a half pound all day long, isn't it? <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits. Or as I say normally, I'm as happy as a puppy with two tails. Now then, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll do it this time. Right, peeps. Um, I'm 16 hook, the six inch hook length. And this float is very small. It takes two number eight stots. And that is, this is a little, uh, a Diamond 4D, four by 14. That's all it is, and I'm using the little CAD pot with the micros in every sort of two or three put outs as you can see I've had four fish now and five put outs so I haven't put a lot out and that's what all I've been doing and I'm out there seven meters right let's get back out Whew. right I've been able now to stop rain I can move the camera about and give you some different angles so you can see what I'm doing I do just three quarter fill of CAD pot the small CAD pot and I get junction seven on my knee. So I put it in the right place every time. Just lay that down like that and just tap that in. Just like that. And lift it in so it go in. Perhaps I should have had a slightly bigger float on there. So it's only got two number eights. That just take a few seconds longer to get down. And here we are, the joint right on my knee, so now I'm in exactly the same place. It's brightening up just a little. And those big old tench I've had, them three big tench, they don't... That last one, I only show a little tiny, just a little dip on the float. And it didn't go right under it, it just went down and moved. But yeah, lovely, perfect. There we go again. Just a little touch there. Wind is getting a little stronger, but it's not too bad. There we are. Oh, that's only a little one. Steady. That's a bit small for my yellow elastic, that one is. <laughs> Don't want to pull the hook out. It's only a little one. Yeah, another little carp. Little tiny F1. Well, I presume they're tiny F1s because there's no barbels, but <laughs> I said before they don't have to be monsters. Lovely jubbly. We're in again, straight away. 
I just put that little cart back, as you see, and I put a peg out. <laughs> Take it easy. No rush. Yeah, this one's holding bottom again. The elastic on this one is 14 to 16 yellows. You can see that's, that's near elastic. You can see it's a bit bright, isn't it? <laughs> if it's sunny, you'd want sunglasses to look at that. Brilliant fishing, brilliant. What can you say? What could be easier? You come sit down and the chap will come and get your day ticket money, you don't have to book it or do anything like that. I do believe that's another tench. Yes, it is. Look at the stamp of them, though. Look. Crikey. Right in the top lip. Not so green as they normally are, but they're funny colours because of the colour of the water. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are. We got a skimmer. First one today. Still got the bait in it. That's in his mouth, look. <laughs> Here we are again. Jinx says pulling the elastic out fairly. <laughs> Try and get him away from the swim. So if there's a few fish out there, don't scare, spook them away. Nice size because that's pulling the elastic out well. I was going to go orange, but I think if I would have went orange, it would have been pulling out twice that far. Definitely be coming back here again. I think I said in the last clip, um, the chap who came with the money reckon there's bream over eight pound in here. My friend, uh, emptying the bottle bank. There's a friend of mine, Hardy's Fishing Adventures. He fish in France. He would love this tension bream. Give him a look on the old YouTube. Steve, Hardy's Fishing Adventures. He gave me a shout out, so I'm giving him a shout out. He'd love this, look at his tench. Oh. Surely that can't be bigger than the last one. <laughs> it's fighting harder. Lovely tench. Oh, I had him in the net. Oh, got him. Yes, there he is. <laughs> got him. <laughs> he didn't got in the net, did he? There we are. 
I think this is bigger. I think that's bigger, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> that's three and a half pound of anybody's money. Beautiful thing. Right, let's get him in. See if any of his mates are out there. I'm using the same as I did the other week. Those little white discs. Fuka bait. I'm not sure when they're out, to be honest with you. I'm just using two of those again. Size 16, as I said the hook was earlier. Every now and again. Put half a cad pot of pellets in there. Two mils soaked. Soak two mils. See if he's made right there. So over there, so you know exactly you're in the right place and the distance as I said earlier. This joint between six and seven section right on my knee here. And I'm in right, right in exactly the same spot each time. It's a good feeding somewhere, and then you put your float in somewhere else. So I'll be very accurate. Actually, what a very nice place to be. Yes, you can hear the road over there, the main road to Stone Market, but it's, I think that's because you can hear it, it's because the roads are wet because it keeps raining. The right way. There we are, look. <laughs> I stormed off up the lake. Well, it's only a little carp. But he's, oh, you see it goes shooting up there. Don't hit the camera. That's <laughs> good, so I can show you different angles now. Now I stop raining. The hooks came out in the net, so look at him. It's a little F1. Who ate all the pies, mate? Look, your rubber bellies, you watch me. Ooh, put the <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's just get the hook out of the way so I don't hook him. again. Now a little carp, or should I say an F1, hooks out in the net, get out of the way. No, no barbels, so it's an F1 on it. <laughs> you always got to check, haven't you? Another little tiny common, uh, no, in the common, look, it's an F1, he's got the dots. Bubby F1s. Here we are again. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. The hook's come out in the net, which is good. Another little F1 look. No barbels. <laughs> Lovely little things. Great fun. Slightly bigger. What more do you want? That's what you call busy, isn't it? Fisher Chuck. Well, as you can see, this is where I'm fishing. That's peg two. Behind me is a calf. Diner, or dine in, or dine out, or takeaway. There's another lake here. So 
I'll just show you, take a, in case anybody's interested in fishing here. At Stonham Barnes, I think a Stonham Aspel near Petter. And here's another lake. Got a little lily pad down there on the right. You got a little island there, aerator. Look at all those lovely holiday shallies to come fishing and staying in. Look. Perfect condition. Right, let's get back over there and get fishing. Let's walk this way first. Show you further down the lake as a chap who come and collect your day ticket money. He's down there. And right where I'm fishing, you got ladies and gents toilets right there where I'm fishing right there, look. Right, let's get back to fishing. What have we got here? It's a funny colour little fishy. This must be a strange colour, look at that. It's obviously his little F1 or something. That's, that's crossed with something look. It's a sort of a bluey colour. Yeah, weird. Nice though. <laughs> That's now five I've had more of these little tiny ones. Look, I've got one like I had last week, a little doddy. <laughs> little tiny miniature carp. It's probably an F1, he ain't got any barbels. Look, little babies. Lovely little things. <laughs> We're in again with something a bit stronger. Like I said a little while ago, I had five of those little fish like that. I didn't show you all of them. What have we got here this time? Nice if it has another tench. It's turning in, the sun's come out, it's right. lovely and warm, the old pole is getting hot. <laughs> Not too hot yet. I'm going to soon warm that pole up. Oh, it looks like a big bream. <laughs> Fighting hard for a bream. The, the bloke who come around said, he said them bream in here, they fight. Yeah, it is, that's a bruiser. Look at that. Oh, my friend in France would like this. Get the hook out. Crikey, look at that. Whoop, yeah, that's typical. Do you know what, that looked like a hybrid, but I think it is a bream. But yeah, heavy. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that, Steve. <laughs> Beauty. It's heavy, it's really, really thick set fish. Slimy too, look. <laughs> Crikey. That's what you call a proper chunky bream. That don't look full bream, that could be bread with something else, as thick as that. We're in again with another big tench. Beautiful, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. All right, mate, stop jumping. <laughs> if I had me to score your first go there, I'd have got him. <laughs> Hey, lion's caught up under his fins. Got him easy. Look 
Lovely. Let's have a look at him properly. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And that lovely, beautiful tench. That's got to be three and a half pound easily. Oh, oh lovely red eyes. Look. <laughs> beautiful fish. Oh, I'm white. Five mil fuga bait. Lovely. Oh, oh. What's that? Five of those, isn't it? All right, mate. All right, all right. Beautiful job. Well chuffed. <laughs> We're in again. I lost count of how many I've had now. I've moved over to five mil white fuca and had that big old bream and then tench. And back to these ones, little F ones. Get nicely, hey? Why not? I mean, you can't beat that. If you're getting, almost getting a fish a chuck, I mean, oh, righty. More little carp, little fifth ones. <laughs> Something nice and heavy on here. Pulling a lot of that elastic out. There's another nice one, that is too. Tench, beautiful tench again. Seem to have come in spits and spat, spapes, whatever you call them. One minute I get a couple of three tench and then they get loads of little carp again. I was just wondering where them bream are. So. That's a lovely two and a half pounder. <laughs> it's going to be a big fish though, isn't it? Beautiful. Well, I'm in again. That's pulled me way over there to the left. Let's see what this is. Feel nice heavy. Be nice if it has another big tench, wouldn't it? <laughs> it is a nice big tench. Beautiful. <laughs> Just went over the lake behind me. There's an old boy fishing there, he just had a three pound mirror. Let's have a look at him, look. Lovely tinge, aren't they? Very light green, aren't they? Instead of, sometimes you go there real dark, but still, lovely tinge. Can't beat them, can you? Well, I've had heaps and heaps of these. Been very, very busy. All about a pound. It's around about a pound, I suppose. Lively little fellas. Look at that, look. Perfect little things. We're still catching them. I've caught about six or seven, but I haven't shown you all of them. I've got to show you this one. I ain't been showing you too many of the little ones, but. There's a lovely tench. Oh, they're so slippery, aren't they? <laughs> Come on, mate, let me just show you off. Are you camera shy? <laughs> there he is, look. Little bubby one. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, now I've got Andy May's favourite look. 
I just got a goldfish. <laughs> look at that. Lovely little goldfish. Can you still, mate? Just pose for the camera. Little goldy. Look, really lovely gold. Or orange, really, aren't they? <laughs> Do well. On those white discs. Let me get the hook out, mate. Come on. Let me. That's it. One more little look. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Here we are again. Something big again and heavy. That's another big old tench. I think it's bigger than the other one. <laughs> yep. Crikey. Right in the top lip. Look at that, look. Another beautiful tench. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Got a funny shaped mouth in it. Different fish in that, I would say. Show you the other side, look. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. It's got some markings on him. <laughs> Perfect. Here we are again. Something a little bit heavier again. Caught dozens of those little F1s now. A couple of skimmers. Now I've got something slightly bigger on here. As you can see, I've changed my top kit. I've gone to the orange because I was catching so many little ones. I started to bump a few, so I put the lighter elastic on and it, it stopped them being bumped, but now I've got a good sized fish on us pulling more elastic out, but that don't matter. Let's see what this is. Lovely. Been so busy. Fish a chuck really. Perfect. It's what we all like to get in it. Oh yes, I think that's another tench. Never had so many tench. Forget how many that is now. Seven, eight, is it? Oh, he's not giving himself up just yet. Come on, my booty, get your head up. Yes, that is a nice tench. Oh, the heck, yes, that is. Don't come off, mate. Don't come off. What a lovely fight. God. Oh yes, a big tench. Can't get his head up, he won't lift his head, there we go. Oh, what a tench. <laughs> Crikey. Lovely. Now that's a good tench. I said there was good tension here now, right? Right on his lip. Right, let's have a close up of this booty, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that for a tench. And what a lovely fish to finish on. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like. It'd be brilliant if you did. And give me a like on the video. Look at that booty. <laughs> Perfect. They go up to seven pound in here, believe it or not.
£7.10. Bye-bye for now.